I love it. I love that it gets to impact somebody's life just because I raised a dog. It is absolutely amazing. It's just a long-term commitment. There's there's no end to it because it's it's just a passion. Um, it's doing you're serving so much of yourself for other people. It's hardly words to put into to be able to describe it because there's been so many emotions. Um, there's highs and lows, frustrations, um, positive impacts, moments, um, all ages, just in our district that we've impacted. Nice. That's the best part. Like people always ask me, like, how do you do this? Like knowing you have to give them up in the end. Like you only get them for a short period of time. You have to give them up. And like I always just tell them the same thing. Like you know that they're gonna do something good in the end, and like you're contributing to that. And that's like the best feeling ever. It's just like knowing that you're helping someone. Aster, come. Good girl. It's taught me so much responsibility. Like I don't just care for myself anymore. I'm also caring for a dog who's gonna be the independence for somebody. So that's a whole weight to be on you. So you just need to be prepared that you're actually changing somebody's life. And everything you do impacts that dog will impact somebody else that you don't even know yet. You can't even describe it. It's so unbelievable to see her actually guiding somebody. She's using the skills that I taught her and she learned during formal training to give somebody the independence. She's guiding her to the street. She's guiding her to the chair. It's unbelievable. And if they allow you to We've had lots of success. Um, we also have a canine buddy dog, um, which is if a guide dog does not uh, work in, in guide work for some reason, um, they are kind of career changed, we call it, and they could be a buddy dog, and we actually placed one here within our district for a little boy. We actually have had several um, dogs graduate. I've had two myself that have been here. Um, Newsy in Tabasco, a lot of students from last year knew Tabasco, a yellow lab. He graduated, he's a working guide in California. Newsy um, was a golden retriever, she's in Canada right now. We do get to, when our dog does graduate, we get to go back to California, the main campus, Guide Dogs for the Blind, and we get to watch the dog graduate and meet the handler and watch that dog walk off down the hall with their partner. So that's the end result, that's the closure, and that's the most rewarding that we can experience. Proud moments, um, sad moments, because you won't physically see that dog again, but a sense that you accomplished and you impacted someone's life and that you did that. It was surreal. Like you work and work and work for this one moment and this one moment was finally here. And you're passing the leash on to the next person. So she lives the rest of her life serving somebody else. Sit. Watching these students grow into become dog trainers, um, but then watching these dogs change someone's life and the impact that it's made just in our classroom, not, not to mention here on campus, in the community.